Let's look into the fifth code of Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Toyotomi Hideyoshi said, Achieving tough goals requires practicing the secret of commitment. <laughs> How to achieve tough goals? First of all, the goal became very tough because we never got a chance to practice our culture. We never got a chance to become together a family, we sit together, eat together, praise together, grows together, goes the same. Let us forget about it. Let us now look into that. Achieving tough goals requires practicing. So practice makes a man perfect, goes the same. And ev everything what we know, especially the basics, the foundations. Every day to practice the foundations, even if even if you know writing English or whichever language you knew, practicing the cursive writing is very, very important. The basics. Again and again, every day without a fail, again and again, then you will know the base wants to practice anything you can achieve because the foundation is so strong, like the Chinese bamboo. For five years, it doesn't even show one shoot out. And they were shocked on the fifth year. It started growing so fast. In a month's time, 20 or 30 days time, it reaches 90 feet tall. And they were baffled. They went and checked it up. And they found out in five years it was holding on to create beautiful foundation. Then the shoot is very easy. Same is the thing when you practice the base. And you can know most of the real masters, Rishis or Samajis, Gurujis, Guru, they will not teach you anything very big, just a simple base. The more you practice the simple base, the more powerful you become. Achieving tough goals requires practicing. Practicing the secret of commitment. What is the commitment? Morning when you get up, yes. You have a secret code of doing things that you will eat fruits before the meals. Commitment. See, that is the secret of commitment. Yes. That you will not drink food in between your meals. Commitment that you will chew your every foot properly. Commitment. Morning when you get up, as you get up, you put your saliva into your eyes. Eye power increases. Commitment. Without throwing that saliva, you drink one glass of water or one bottle of water. Chewing the water and drinking. Commitment. And then you use the fingers to press your gums. Commitment. The gums become strong. Smell will not come. You don't have to go to the dental doctor. Yes, commitment. And then you do your eye exercise. Yes, up, down, right. Commitment, the neck, the shoulder, all the joints. And you practice cleaning the house, lighting the lamp, singing, 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 practice. That common tough goals, achieving tough goals, practice a secret of commitment. People, that secret is something great. No, no, no. Every day. And people are, the foreigners brought this language that on the seventh day you have to take rest. No, no, no. In that case, the Indian mothers know. They, they, do, do you think they have rest on the seventh day? In fact, on the seventh day they have more work because the husbands and the children all are at home. They never complain. They cannot complain because they knew there lies the secret of their commitment. There is the secret of achieving what they wanted, what they wanted is health. And they know when they have health, the whole world gets attracted. Mother's food is the best. Mother's love is the best. Seven days practicing. Whether you practice yoga, you practice martial arts, dance, music. These are our basic culture. India is now going very fast, very fast. But India must now find find out India is going very fast. India is achieving this and that with, uh, under the new prime minister. But India must understand 
especially the foreign minister, the big talkative foreign minister. He must also move with the prime minister to tell him what India needs, what America and Japan, the largest economic might, the biggest economic might, America. And then it went on to Japan. And then it, now it moved on to China. All these countries, their biggest success story is martial arts. America went with the boxing. They brought in Muhammad Ali, the creative flavor, power, energy that people, the youth, the girl or boy understood power. They can bring out the best talent. When they bring out the best talent, the country enjoys. The country's G GDP, GDP, what do we call? will grow. You look at Japan, it was martial arts and Japan became the power, economic might. And even now, even now, India, look, the men are looking worse than, I do not know, worse than what? They call it software, software, no energy, no muscle, no power. This country will collapse very fast, like how Kuwait was, depending on the foreign soldiers, foreign workers. And Iraq, Iraq attacked within seconds. I was in Iraq in 1989. I was in, so I was in Kuwait in 1989 on my way to London. 1990, I was in Japan. My Nigerian friend came and told me, Rock home, Kuwait, no more. I said, what? I want the TV. I looked. <laughs> Iraq has taken Blitzkrieg within 24 hours. Kuwait couldn't stand with the foreign foreign soldiers. India will have the same situation. Now China understood. China went to Kung Fu, Kung Fu and all. Then they knew, no. They moved from Kung Fu and went to real fighting. Everybody in the country, martial arts. To push the martial arts, achieving tough goal requires practice secret coming every day. You will practice martial arts. Not to beat anybody, but you can see the explosive power inside. Yoga, of course, but that yoga... I think it can be done after the age of 60, but the youth before the age of 60 must be boy or girl. Then you can know it is pan card, permanent account number of our GDP, permanent account number of our richness. That richness is happy richness, not to destroy anybody. It stays long, achieving tough goals, requires practice in secret, or coming practice every day, touching the feet of your mother and father. Surrender fully and you can know you have touched the floor and you and the nature become one. You cannot find any other love, unconditioned love than your father and mother and your guru and your elder brother or sister. <laughs>